Hey Tires, thanks for tuning in today. This is Avid Max Tying Tuesdays. My name is Brady and we're doing a special holiday edition. So Merry Christmas everybody out there. Today we're gonna tie a very simple pattern. This is the Zebra Midge, but we're gonna do it in a few different colors, just a little bit of holiday flair. Uh, so to start out, this is gonna be tied on the Umqua U-Series 202 hook. And you can tie this in a variety of sizes, mostly 18 down to about 24. With that, we're gonna do beaded zebra midges today. So these are the Cyclops bead eyes. Nice thing about the Cyclops bead eye is not only uh, do you have a variety of sizes and colors, but it goes down a lot smaller than most of your tungsten beads do. So you can tie down to that 24 and still keep a nice bead on there. Uh, we're going to use a few different color threads, but it's all going to be Vivas thread. I'm using the 16 aught. We're going to do an olive, a red, and a black today. And then we're going to rib our fly with just some UTC um, wire. This is uh, gold, copper, and silver according to the color variation that we're tying. So I have my U202 hook. This is the size 18 we're tying on. You can go down to 24 or 26 on this pattern. Um, it's also a pattern you can go larger on if you want to fish it still water as kind of a chronomid imitation. But I've added my Cyclops bead eye. This is the 564 so for the size 18. Uh, if you go smaller, maybe go down to the 1 16th size Cyclops bead eye. We're just going to simply start our thread here. We're doing the red variation and with the gold accents on it. And we'll just get our thread started and then bring our wire up and tie that in. So you can kind of slide it up into your bead and grab it down and then tie it back. And we're just going to work our thread all the way to the back of the hook here, right up to that hook bend. With nice even thread wraps, the body of the smidge is going to be the thread. So you want to make sure to be very conscious of where you're laying your thread wraps. And we're going to kind of build a taper with that as well. So we'll go back to our hook bend there, just about like so. Sometimes I like to go down in it a little bit, give, a, give that illusion of movement with the, the hook bend on that. So we come back up. This is a great fly. It's so simple, but it works very well, um, especially on tailwaters through the winter months been around for a little while now. It was originally invented by a guy named Ted Welling, and I think the variations of it are kind of, you know, endless with color options and things like that. So now that we have our body there, just kind of a slim profile body, I'm going to wrap our wire, going to counter wrap our wire here using our rotary, and we'll do four or five wraps up to the front, and then capture our wire off with our thread. spin out our wire and just finish it off, clean it up and give it a nice kind of bulbous head with this thread right behind the bead there. Okay, so then all we need to do is whip finish and we have a completed zebra midge. So this is the red variation. We'll tie a couple more here just to show you some other color combinations that you can do. We'll do a olive as well as a black here. So we're gonna finish it off just with a little bit of Zappa Gap here to make it a little bit more durable. It'll be a nice long lasting fly for you. Catch a lot of fish. Sometimes it rains, sometimes it pours, sometimes the wind knocks at your door with a memory been trying to forget. When lightning strikes and thunder rolls and raindrops fall without control, clouding up your days, getting your shoes wet. Sunshine comes to those who wait, slow and steady. Wins that race of life, of life. This 
no rush, no hurry now. We all meet our maker somewhere, somehow. Best in line doesn't always mean you're first. At heaven's gate with whiskey bread, a life of lost love, pills, regrets. No matter what you'll do, you'll never quench that thirst. Sunshine comes to those who wait Slow and steady Wins that breaks of life Of life Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have a fly you'd like to see us tie in the future, leave us a comment below. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to the Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.